Pedro Orio, 16 mei van dit jaar, viel hij tijdens de Giro in een tientallen meters diepe ravijn en lag dagen in coma. Geperforeerde longen, een nekfractuur en een gebroken been zijn maar een paar van zijn verwondingen. Tijdens de teamfoto voor 2010 in het MEC in Maastricht ziet Horio zijn meeste ploegmaten voor het eerst weer terug. Pedro, how are you doing? Uh, fine, thank you. Yeah? Yeah, it's very good. Uh, I'm, I'm still working hard on the rehabilitation. I, I have to improve a little bit, but uh, I must be happy. And so taking in consideration how, how I was a few months ago. How are your physical conditions now at the moment? Yeah, I'm, I'm working hard on the gym and also on the physiotherapy center because I, I, I need to, to take uh, some muscle on, the, on, the, on, on my left, on my left leg. Because I, I have still some problems on the balance on the leg And and when I go on the bike, I I do most of the power with the right one. So I'm working on this, and this is the you can see the the, the bigger problem in this moment. What do you remember of your situation before the crash, your last meters? Just nothing. I have no remembers of of that day, which is curious because. Uh, On the moment of the rescue, I, I was uh, conscient and I talked with the people no, that was coming to me. So, Do you know what you said at that moment? Yeah, they, I know because they, they said to me, but uh, I, I said my name and I said in Italian, uh, so I, I, talk, I talk Italian and... I, I think that I was conscious in that moment that I was in Italy, that I crashed in Italy, and I must talk I Italian. And, and is it true you wanted to go back on your bike uh, again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, what, it's what he said. And wow. <laughs> yeah, he said that uh, uh, maybe I was lying there uh, 35 or 40 minutes, and he said that in that, in that, in that time, I was uh, studying the place where I crashed and uh, studying how it was possible to come back to the road. And I had my plane. So when he came, I, I was trying to explain how we can go up to the, again to the road. No? And, but I, 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 I could not see my body. No? And What were the most important injuries? On the on the beginning, when I was in coma, the problem was uh, on the on the lungs, because all the um, the how's the name the, here uh, the ribs, oh, yes. all the ribs, all were broken, and some of the some of these were were inside the the lungs. So the problem does was that th there was many blood in my in my lungs. And I could not uh, respire by myself, no. And this was the problem on the first uh, two or three days. And after this, the the biggest problem was, was in my in my in my neck because I have one vertebra broken, and this it was dangerous uh, because because you it was close to send me uh, to the wheelchair. You could have been dead. Um, what does it do with your, with you and with your family? Yeah, uh, I was uh, I was all the time. One once that I that I awake, I was asking all the time for my kids because I, I have two kids. So they, are, they are they are small, so and and I was watching to my wife close to me. And I was asking where where my kids are because when when my wife was with me and leaving the kids at home, my situation must be must be must be difficult, no. And for me, one really important step in the in the recuperation it was to to see my kids. And now you're training again. Um, how realistic is it to think you're you're going to race again? Is is still early to take a decision because uh, I'm still improving. 
So once once that I feel that uh, that uh, that this improving is 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 getting less and is, is finishing, is the moment where I have to take the, the decision. But but uh, for for my part and and trying and doing everything that I I can to do. Good luck with your rehabilitation. I yeah. hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.